Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey. And I can't believe what I'm seeing from this whole Twitter versus the MCU thing going on. Um this is quite disturbing to be honest. Um reading what these people done said um to these actors and people who supporting um Chris Pratt because he doesn't want to get political. Um, I don't blame them. I want to get political because it's nobody's business. But I'm really getting annoyed that United States think that it's okay to keep disrespecting Christianity, but want to tense up when it comes to other people's religions, which a lot of religions, not only um, just Christianity, other religions outside of Christianity are way harsher on the LGBT community than the Christianity, but everybody wants to make Christianity the joke of a, the butt. Like, I'm really getting annoyed that this religion keeps getting dragged through the mud, but when we try to talk about somebody else's religion, make fun of all body else's religion, um, religion, it's a problem. It becomes racist or something like that or whatever. No, equal opportunity. You gonna trash Christianity? We need to trash all the other ones. But this crap right here, what you guys are doing, I'm not saying you guys, but there are some people who probably are looking at this video who've done that stuff. What your guys are doing, attacking Chris Pratt because he didn't go to an Avengers um, fundraiser for Biden, which I think that's a waste of money right there. That money needs to be going back to the workers of Disney. I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, no offense. I feel like there shouldn't be any fundraiser money going to any of these political parties at this time. The world is crap right now. That money need to be going to those workers who are unemployed and stuff like that. All these multimillionaires trying to tell us, hey, let's do a fundraiser. No, you guys got money. You put your money into that kind of nonsense. You know, Republican, Democrat, or whoever. But this right here, this is one of those out of hand moments. But, you know, I blame Hollywood because this is who you cater to. You cater to these kind of folks. You cater to the people that attack celebrities and people for their opinions about not agreeing or whatever or lumping them in to toxic fans or whatever and stuff like that these same people who are outraged are the same ones who don't buy your stuff who don't support your stuff and you're wondering why the fans are getting tired of this stuff because you gave them an inch and they ran with it when you give certain things an inch they run with it you know what I'm saying? Now, look at this. They're attacking almost everybody from the MCU. And, of course, they have to bring Brie Lawson boring ass up into this stuff. Where was she, you guys at? For, look, look, look. Brie Lawson said some stuff that people didn't agree with. You know, sometimes shut the hell up. You know what I mean? What she said was disrespectful to half the fan base of Marvel. And Marvel should have nipped her in the budge with that nonsense. But instead, they let her continue to say all her nonsense. But, you know, you guys claim, oh, we're here for diversity or whatever. But then all these people over here on Twitter attacking Zoe Zandala and calling her all kinds of terrible, terrible things. I mean, thank goodness, you know, we have Data Ray Tracer for, you know, seeing this stuff. But good God, what you guys are saying to zoe is just disrespectful and you know being a person of color just seeing that kind of stuff you know it kind of you know makes it like dang you know you think the world is better and then you see stuff like this you know like when are we gonna stop with this nonsense chris pratt any of them they don't have to tell you about their political parties. They don't have to get political at all. That's the problem. Everybody always wants to figure out who's on whose side or whatever and stuff like that. Guess what? It don't work like that. I don't have to tell you anything. Just like they don't have to tell us anything at all. Their job is to give me a good movie and that's it. Don't get political. Don't be trying to change things for the characters or try to please certain people or whatever. I just want a good movie showing the classic comic book characters that I grew up with and loving on the big screen and portrayed correctly. Not this nonsense that's been going on for the past couple of years in media entertainment. Like, come on now, this is getting out of hand, you know? And see, now you got people attacking Mark Ruffalo, but you know, buddy, guess what? You perpetuate this stuff. 
you've been attacking Trump, you've been attacking anybody that don't agree with nothing and stuff like that. And now you're like, hey guys, calm down. Guess what? They're not gonna calm down. You gave them an inch and they ran with it. They ran with it. I'm sorry to tell you that, you know, everybody's eating each other at this point, but this is what happens when you guys focus on somebody's political beliefs more so than anything else. You know, I get tired of this nonsense with my entertainment being mixed with political stuff. I don't care what these celebrities or companies and stuff support. You know, it's not my business to know who your political affiliation with. As long as you make sure the product that you're giving me, the entertainment you're giving me is correct, not insulting, interesting, something I can actually look forward to, actually something I can buy and support, I'm cool. But when you do all this virtual signaling crap or whatever and stuff like that, it takes people out of it, you know, and this should be a lesson to Hollywood folks. Stop pandering to people. If people get mad on Twitter, oh, well, guess what? Oh, well, guess what? so sorry because guess what it's going to be more people still supporting the quote-unquote cancel person than anything else you know you guys always want to cancel people but you guys can't cancel the the right people the ones that actually do something completely terrible we gotta excuse it we gotta keep excusing it we gotta put 500 million excuses but somebody who did nothing cancel them immediately even if there's no proof even if there's no proof we got to cancel them immediately. Like, this is retarded. Reading these tweets, this is ridiculous. You know, you guys got to grow up with this nonsense, you know. But Hollywood, I really want you guys to understand. Stop the virtual signaling. Stop the pandering. Stop the diversity push. Just make good products and call it a day. Your job is to entertain at the end of the day. Your job is not to be political. Your job is not to try to tell people anything. Your job is to entertain me for an hour or two to get me away from the real world for a little bit. And that's it. That's all that should happen. And I really hope you guys are really seeing this stuff and really waking up to this because it seems like you guys are trying to double down on it. You're trying to cater to the same demographic that's sitting up here attacking people for nonsense. But then you want to lump the real front fans into that. You know, when the real fans were trying to criticize you guys about, hey, we don't like this movie. Hey, this doesn't work or whatever and stuff like that. You guys attacked us. And then you let other people attack them and kept going and kept throwing flames on it now you're getting your own medicine at the end of the day congratulations congratulations hollywood but for real enough with the attacking people over their political beliefs you know and saying certain racist things or calling people out of their names over that kind of stuff is that's just a no-go for me you know at some point we got to draw the line you know, I just think, for me, Twitter needs to be canceled. You know, if anything needs to be shut down, other than TikTok, um, what's that other thingy? Musical.ly, um, Dub Smash, what, 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 what's that other one that's called? Um, that everybody got really famous off of, Vine and all that kind of stuff, that kind of junk, MySpace, whatever, all of that stuff. Y'all was trying to get rid of them, you got rid of them, whatever, but you didn't get rid of Twitter. And you need to. This is a lesson. Get rid of Twitter. Yeah. So, you know, it's just terrible how, you know, these celebrities done got attacked over that kind of stuff for defending Chris Pratt. But again, you reap what you sow. This is what happens when you cater to certain people, the people that are just nothing but outraged over everything for no reason. You reap what you sow. But yeah. That's the video, guys. Um, tell me, guys, what you think. Um, I would like to hear from you guys. Like, what do you guys think about this whole entire Twitter versus the MCU thing? You know. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.